Next I'll specify the magnitude for the rest of the static load cases. So first I'll specify for braking load, I'll go to static load. So this is the beam, uh, beam element load. I'll click on element. So I'll select the load case as braking load. I'll not select the load group name because I'll not be using this in the construction stages. Mm, this is after the post CS, post construction stage. The load type I'll select uniform and global X. So this longitudinal load should be applied to the notional lanes. So I have calculated based on the notional width which comes up to 4.5 kilonewton meter. I'll apply this to girders. I'll go to group or works tab. Double click on the girders, activate them, then click apply. First select them, select all, click apply. So this gets applied to the girders. So right click and display. 4.5 kN per meter. Next, let me change this load case name to wind load longitudinal where the magnitude I'll take it as 1.2 the global X in the longitudinal direction select all I'll click apply display it so it's 1.2 km per meter now I'll change the load case name to wind load transverse direction so this should be global Y give the magnitude as 4 suppose I'll only select the first girder my critical case so this is my uh, let me undisplay this so this is the girder I'll click apply so this is my longitudinal way uh, the transverse wind load next I'll activate all I'll undisplay next let's apply the temperature loads I'll go to temperature priestess so you have different temperature loads. First is the element temperature which is nothing but the uniform temperature and this is for the linear temperature gradient and if you have a non-linear temperature gradient you can go for beam section temperature. I'll click on element temperature. So here I'll select the temperature rise. So my initial temperature is 0. I'll take the final temperature rise as 43. I'll select the girder. I'll click apply. I'll change this to temperature fall if this has minus 32 select the girders or the previous selection click apply so you can display the temperature load so this is my rise this is my fall I'll close next I'll define the beam section temperature which is nothing but the gradient temperature along the beam proc section click here change this to positive temperature gradient I'll select the section type as PSC or the composite. So based on this figure you can define the temperature variation along the cross section. So first the material I'll take element and the reference top from the top you can specify the distance and the temperature uh, at that point. Then the width so I'll take section so the software will calculate the section or, or the width of the section automatically. So the H1 indicates this distance. So I'll take that as 0 mm and H2 as change the units to mm for my convenience. I'll give H2 as 150, T1 as 17.8 centigrade, T24, click add, 150, to 400. Click add. Ten hundred. One nine five zero. T one as zero. T two two point one. Click add. Now I'll undisplay this temperature uniform load. I'll select the girders 
I'll click apply so this beam section uh, cross section temperature gets applied to the girders I'll click close I'll click again for the negative temperature gradient select that select PSC composite reference with the section give H1 as 0 to 250 mm 0.3 7 click add it's to as find I'll give the beam uh, section temperature variation in parts like I'm adding each part now minus 0.8 to click add and five zero point eight to minus 6.6 .6 centigrade click add so I'll select previous selection the girders I'll click apply so this gets applied you can go to the temperature right click display so this is my positive temperature variation and the negative temperature gradient variation and display go to isometric view so I made some sample calculations for the water current forces and the log impact so I to, uh, the pier height was 5.7 meters for 50 percent of the pier height I'll take the water current force which is coming to be 3 km per meter uh, as per this formula and similarly log impact it would be 1.5 km per meter so here I'll give the magnitude as 3 km per meter and global y direction and 0.5 meter which would be half of the pier height select this element click apply so you can display the water current force so this would be the water current force that would be acting on the pier shaft similarly I'll uh, apply the log impact I'll change the magnitude to 1.5 go to single select select this element click apply so you can display the log impact so this is 1.5 km per meter click close, I'll undisplay, 